This video is directions on how to make Anglican prayer beads. So today I'm going to be starting with um, a number nine nylon twine, um, a bonded nylon twine. I have a brown color here. They sell that in different colors at rosarymakingparts.com. The beads that I'll be using, these are from um, Fire Mountain Gems. Uh, we can, the, the brown beads are um, 10 by nine millimeter and the natural color beads are 10 by eight millimeter. Um, this can also be done, instead of using the larger brown beads, you can use the smaller ones, which are, um, let's see the difference there. Those are eight by seven millimeter. A lot of people do prefer those. They're just, I find them to be a little bit more difficult to clean. I would recommend if you're going to be working with these beads that you have a bead, uh, a bead stripper, something like that, because a lot of times those holes are not open and you have to clean them before you get started. And then also I'm using these little brown crosses, which I purchased on Etsy. There are a few different sellers that sell those. I think Fen Fen Accessories I purchased those from. So we're going to start with a cord that is about two and a half feet long. As you're doing this, if you decide that you want to uh, shorten the cord, do whatever works for you. So starting on one end, we're going to go ahead and tie it as such, but don't pull it all the way through, okay? And the reason for that is that's going to operate like a little stopper for our beads so they don't fly off. And then we're going to start here with the brown beads. So you'll start with seven of the brown beads. Now on the tip of this cord, there's a couple things you can do. If it's stiff enough, you probably might not have to do anything, but if it becomes frayed on the end, you might need to trim it as you go along. The other thing you can do is take some um, like scotch tape and wrap a small piece of scotch tape really tight around it, make it like an aglet, like the end of a shoelace, or you can dip the end in clear nail polish and that will harden it a little bit. So um, those are the options. I didn't put anything on mine today. I think with these larger beads, it's not that bad. I mean, it gets, it might get a little bit frayed and you can go ahead and trim it. If you use the smaller beads, um, that's when you might want to either use the, um, the nail polish or the tape. So seven, always count, double, double check your count because I've made a bunch of these and I always lose count. And then a natural bead and then continue on with seven. So your final product is going to look like this. So you'll have seven, a natural bead, seven, your natural bead, seven, natural bead, seven, right? So these are our um, cruciform beads. Then you'll go ahead and undo the knot on the end like I just did. You can, if you'd like, you can go ahead and center it, center your beads as such. Okay, and then with one of the natural beads, you're going to feed through both of the strings through one bead and bring that all the way to the end. Then you're going to take one string, not both, just one, and you're going to feed through a natural bead. You're going to feed through the cross. And again, you might want to have all these holes cleaned in advance and then feed it back in through the natural bead again. So you went through the bead, through the cross, and now you're going back through the bead again. When you bring it back through the bead, you take that end and hold on to the cross and just kind of gently pull it. And you'll see how it comes together there. Then what you do is just take these two ends and tie them in a knot, nice and snug. And you might wanna depend on what, there we go, that way is a little bit tighter. You can see, don't worry about the cross just yet. And then you're going to tie it in one more knot, again, nice and snug. And then you can go ahead and straighten out your cross at that point in time. Then what you wanna do is go ahead and clip these. When you do that, leave about, oh, maybe three quarters of an inch. And I'll show you why in just a moment here. Three quarters of an inch on each side. And then I'm going to grab my flyer so I can burn this for you. If you're doing a bunch of these, you may want to um, use a candle. It's a lot easier but since I'm only doing one. When you burn these, make sure that knot's nice and tight and then pull your beads kind of away from the string because you don't wanna burn the beads. And go ahead and light it until it catches fire. Once it gets close to the bead, you can blow on it and then you can find something to just push on it, maybe even just the tip of a napkin. A lot of times I use my finger, but you have to be careful. You don't want to burn yourself. And by doing that, um, it will flatten it out and almost work like a stopper so it doesn't come apart. 
So again, burn it. You'll catch fire. Keep those beads apart so you don't burn the beads. That one went out on its own and then just give it a little, you can give it a little push. And then that's the final product. If you did get a little burn mark on any of the beads, you could take a little nail file and kind of file that off a little bit. Um, that's happened to me before. But that's the final product. Pretty easy breezy. And like I said, I, I think with the smaller ones, it's even nicer. You can see it kind of very nicely fits um, around the wrist and in the hand. And with the smaller beads, it's even better yet. Uh, but the smaller beads are a little bit more difficult to work with. So uh, I hope you enjoy.